I want to uh, thank Dr. Conrad Worrell for uh, inviting me to join in the celebration of Kobe Cambone. I am not fully comfortable with this new technology and having meetings through cyberspace. Uh, I would much more prefer to be there with you, sitting in the same place in the house that Jake built. Nevertheless, on behalf of the Association of Black Psychologists, Dr. our national president, Dr. Uh, Huberta Jackson Loman and my wife uh, Vera Nobles, Dr. Vera Nobles, and uh, our family who all saw Kobe as our family. I want to thank you for this opportunity to uh, to uh, share in this celebration. Let me share some thoughts with you, if I may. For me, the 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 the, the, the issue of life and death are miracles. They're miraculous, and uh, nothing is more miraculous in life than death itself. Uh, recently, my father uh, from the afterlife told me about two types of death. That was at the the uh, dying or the killing of a nephew in an automobile accident. My father said that there are two types of death, a, a, uh, a leaving death and a taking death. The leaving death was one in which the person becomes very, very old and decides it's time to, to leave and return to heaven. The taking death is one that is unexpected. It is one that we have a hard time explaining why did that happen. Uh, a taking death is one that is really for us to be reminded of certain things. Kobe Cambon was, in my opinion, uh, a mighty, mighty warrior scholar. He was like the baobab tree, the tallest tree in the forest. And uh, Kobe was the baobab tree in the forest of the African mind. Kobe was an intellectual giant, and his genius towered over all those who would dare to challenge his character, his consciousness, or his conduct. Some say that Kobe Cambon uh, taking death was designed to remind us of what it means to be a black intellectual, to be one who is reflective, reflective and critical of our understanding of ourselves, one who is self-consciously transmits, modifies, and creates new ideas for us to be nurtured on. Black intellectual maintains the cultural memory of Africa, especially for Africans in the diaspora. The black intellectual has an unbreakable love for his people. Kobe Cambon was about African ideas. He was a black intellectual who led us to this goal of accepting the liberation of African mind. Kobe was, up without question, a, a black intellectual and a true, genuine, radical, revolutionary black psychologist and healer. Kobe's contributions to the liberation of the black mind are amongst our best. He helped us to see the pathology of the cultural misorientation. He helped us and he directly instructed us to never compromise on our mental liberation. Kobe took no prisoners in the war of Africanizing black psychology. He cleared the path for us. He helped to clear the path for us to see our re-Africanization as a human necessity. I plan and I will leave to others to give testimony to his many specific and precise contributions. He was the seventh president of the AB side. He served uh, as a jagna for countless of soon to become the next generation of black psychologists. As a footnote, it was uh, to Kobe that I and Dr. Lawford Goddard sent one of our best students, Dr. Derek Wilson, to, to, to work and study with Kobe Cambone to, if you will, to go to finishing school with Kobe Cambone. And, um, and that's how high esteem we held him in. Kobe served as the chairman of the psychology department, as you know, of, of, at FAMU, where he was the master mason who helped to build a citadel of black psychology in the South, throughout the nation, in the world. Kobe's ther theoretical musings opened the gateway for an African-centered nosology, and he put to shame the inadequacy of Western psychology and the and the, and the guilt of the mimetically infected uh, black psychologists who tried to continue to believe in white psychology. 
His teachings and studying of our work made our work even better. It is said that Kobe died peacefully in his sleep. It is more true that at the end of his living cycle and the beginning of his quest for eternity, Kobe transitioned in the quietude of dream time where he heard the voice of God as his own. A besides dwellers of heaven, our ancestors will gather now to welcome Kobe Cambone across the Kalunga line and into the realm of the powerful and visible ones. Folk like Ace and Tom Hilliard, Francis Cress Wilson, Stanley Crockett, Paris Finer Williams, Said Khatib, Al Gones, Robert Guthrie, Bill Hayes, Harriet and John McAdoo, Charles Thomas, D. Philip McGee, and Zynga Copper Warfick, Willie Williams, Joe White, and Bobby Wright will all sing at the gate of heaven that Kobe has come here. Kobe is with us. We are better because Kobe Cambone sits amongst us. Kobe will be the added force in the heavenly plan for the mental liberation of African people. In this moment of sadness, in celebration, I believe we should dance to the second line in honor of our great Baobab tree, Kobe Cambone. We should sing the sound of Kobe's vibration. We should sing out loud and teach the generations that come to sing even louder and every generation thereafter to do jazz with Kobe Cambone, to make the life and living of Kobe Cambone even more louder. The great, great, great goddess Maya Angelou once said, when great souls die after a period of peace blooms again, slowly and always irregularly, spaces will fill up with a kind of soothing electric vibration. Our senses restored, never to be the same, and we will whisper to ourselves, they existed. They existed. We can be, and we can be more better because they existed. In this moment of quietude, listen to the sound of Kobe Cambone whispering to our souls. Read his thoughts and his ideas that bring forth an electric vibration. Listen to Kobe Cambone's spirit. Because Kobe Cambone lived, our sense of who we are will never be the same. Sing out loud, Kobe Cambone, as a great, mighty, black, intellectual, scholar, warrior, he existed. Or maybe rather than just sing, we should shout out loud, Kobe Cambone exists. Kobe Cambone exists. Kobe Cambone exists. He exists in the realm of the invisible. He exists amongst the dwellers of heaven. He exists in the fabric of our minds. Dr. Kobe Cambone exists. This great healing soul, soul, this warrior scholar, this black intellectual, this my friend, my colleague, my comrade, my brother will exist. Kobe Cambone will exist forever. Celebrate his life. Do Kobe Cambone. Thank you.